Uh, right, let's do another one. Uh, I think it's a five minute break is good now. Okay, for the Fibonacci numbers, commonly you know as alpha fan forms a sequence called Fibonacci sequence such that each number is the sum between two previous numbers. Given n, calculate f of n, okay, and n is less than 30. Uh, huh. So, I mean, so this is pretty straightforward. Um, uh, the only thing that's a little tricky is uh, me trying to think is whether Fibonacci of 30 is, fits in uh, double or, or, or not double, a, a, a long or 64-bit uh, integer or 32-bit integer. But uh, but if you remember your uh, your math class, I think the n Fibonacci is something like one point six to to the n. So and that's strictly less than two to the n. So uh, so what that means is that um, you know what one point six to the thirtieth uh, is always going to be less than you know two billion or whatever. Uh, well, two billion is technically two to the thirty first, not two to the thirty two, but but that's the way I would uh, kind of convince myself that um, that it would fit in in a in a in a uh, thirty two int thirty two bit int. Okay. Uh, so having that said, uh, I guess we'll just code it. Up. Uh, I prefer C just because I don't know. This is like four lines of code at max. Uh, so I think what uh, you could probably do some fancy stuff with like. You know, keeping it away and look at the same the last two items, but I think you guys should just eh, okay. Actually, that's what I'm gonna end up doing. I mean, I I think you could do some fancy stuff with having just two registers and then keep on swapping them back and forth. I think, uh, especially let's say if I was in an interview, uh, what what I would try to do is kind of do the thing that uh minimize typing uh typos and stuff like that. Uh, in addition to just kind of uh, making sure that. Uh, uh, code is concise, so um, well, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, so you go. Oh, is it? Does it start zero one or okay? Because some people start at one one or something. I don't know. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, and you know, you may wonder why uh, these auto brackets. You may wonder why I start at uh, uh, thirty-five. Uh, it's just because uh, 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 on the problem it said that n is less than thirty, so I just wanted to get a number that's obviously bigger than thirty. You, know, uh, I mean, uh, 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 yeah, because what you don't want to do is kind of have like an off by one, and then you know. I have to be off by five, so uh, uh, I think this this should be it. I mean, that's um, yeah. So like I said, this is this should be pretty straightforward. Uh, so I guess one to code to test. Uh, okay. I mean, I guess I what does this do? Ooh, okay, but uh, that, can I get more test cases? Oh, let's just do thirty just to make sure. Yeah, it does. So there you go. So I mean, I think that's enough to, for me to be convinced that I finished it. And bam. Uh, oh, okay. I mean, I, pro I mean, if I use two uh, registers, I could probably do this faster. But eh, I don't know. I'm, it's not what I'm optimizing for. So that's fine. But cool. So that's my two easy problems for the day. Um,